In our Western culture, many of us may pride ourselves and feel energized by checking things off our to-do list. But important as all that doing is, sometimes we forget to build in space for purposeful pauses in our day. Ultimately, an essential element for our well-being. Consider the way that a fire burns, needing both the logs which fuel the fire, as well as space between the logs to keep it burning. Many of us can hopefully relate to times in our lives when things are good and seem to flow along easily. But as the human condition is about joy and about suffering, health and illness, our coping toolkits need to also include ways to stay well when things get hard or fall outside of our ability to control. One very powerful and evidence-based method of equipping ourselves to rise up to managing the challenges in life, strengthening our mind and body connect, is through the practice of mindfulness. Simply put, being mindful is about making a purposeful shift into the present moment and with an attitude of non-judgment. That may sound simple, but isn't always easy to do. Every time we intentionally engage our physical senses, like tuning into hearing sounds around us or really tasting what we're eating, in those moments, we are being mindful. Our brains shifting out of autopilot and turning down the volume from powerful rumination and worry patterns that often dominate our thoughts. The second part of being mindful is to also notice when we become distracted from the purposeful paying attention as our mind starts to wander and inviting our attention back without judgment. Let's take a moment now to share a brief practice together. Something that can also serve as a grounding technique to use in times of stress to soften heightened emotions. So take a moment to settle into the physical space that you are in. You can close your eyes or direct your eyes with a soft gaze onto an object in front of you. Notice what is going on within you right now, slowly scanning your body from head to toe. Notice areas of tension and invite yourself to let go of the tension in those areas as best you can. And just notice whatever thoughts are present, not needing to do anything right now, except noticing the thoughts as if watching them scrolling by on a closed caption screen, noticing the thoughts come and go. Ready, becoming aware of the rhythm of your own breathing, noticing the passage of air coming into the body and leaving the body, picking a specific location that the breath sensations are most vivid through the nostrils or chest or abdomen. Riding on the waves of the breath sensations by giving each breath your full attention as best you can as air comes in and goes out. Nothing to have to force or make happen, just noticing what already is. You'll likely also notice that it's not easy to keep your full attention on your breath as your mind starts to wander off into the past or future or maybe starting to daydream or feeling bored or restless 
and eager to engage in an action plan. Distraction is normal, as your mind is just doing what minds do. But we don't always have to follow these distractions. So, without trying to push away the distracting thoughts, each time you notice your mind has wandered, there's no need to criticize yourself. Your only job is just to redirect your attention back onto the breath. Noticing, again, the particular sensations, the coolness with each in-breath, and warmth of each out-breath. Paying attention with an attitude of openness and curiosity. And noticing when the body starts to tense as worry thoughts come in, resisting the temptation to engage in that worry just for now. Possibly finding yourself wanting some other life or reality, but being patient even just for a moment longer with the tendency that we often have to be pulled toward negative thoughts that come to mind or to want to run away from thoughts of uncertainty which only reinforces fearful beliefs that we might not be okay or safe. By redirecting your attention back to the breath and resisting the temptation to follow all your thoughts, even if for just a moment, possibly letting go of the need for a particular outcome, you're giving your body permission to break out of that strong looping pattern of worry and rumination, giving your brain a chance to rebalance and reintegrate within yourself and with others. And when you are ready, bring this brief period of practice to a close. That was a sampling of listening to a guided meditation, a mindful meditation. But there are many ways to fold a mindfulness practice into regular daily routines. Like when you're drinking a hot cup of coffee, purposefully paying attention to its flavor and aroma, noticing the steam rising and feeling its heat as you hold the cup. Or when you go out for a walk, purposefully directing your attention onto noticing the warm feeling of sun against your face or a light breeze touching your skin. Or perhaps while just sitting in a chair and purposefully scanning your body for points of contact, aware that your weight is resting on the seat of the chair, noticing how soft or hard it is, noticing the feel of your feet making contact with the floor and any sensations you may notice as you pay attention to your feet, feelings of softness against a cozy pair of slippers or the firm support of the sole of your shoes. And again, not to worry about when you get distracted. Expect that you will. In the words of Dr. John Kabat-Zinn, scientist and author in the development of mindful meditation, he says, Know that you are not failing at meditation if you have trouble keeping your awareness on the breath. You are learning something very important about the nature of the mind itself, that it waves just as the ocean waves. When the mind wanders, it's not about trying to shut off worried thoughts or trying to generate positive thinking. When your mind wanders during a meditation practice, your job is only to purposefully shift your attention back into a point of focus, like of noticing the breath, sounds going on around you, 
or a sensation of touch. As you intentionally build in this kind of regular noticing and purposeful redirection throughout your day, hopefully over time, it may start to become a more natural way of being for you. And know too that these simple activities aren't just relaxation techniques, but that they can reap rich rewards with regular practice, building a powerful mind-body connect. It can be a natural place for our mind to drift into ruminating about past events or worrying about things yet to come in the future. But when we do that for extended periods of time, we are mostly operating from a region of the brain that stands guard to protect us from threats. That part of the brain is a vital resource, of course, giving us the ability to act quickly and almost subconsciously in an emergency situation or in danger. But research has shown that the regular practice of mindfulness can help us with our higher order needs when we need to respond instead of react. The practice of mindfulness is like a strengthening exercise for the brain that helps to develop the wiser region of the brain, giving us insights into decision making and the ability to better regulate our emotions, bringing more patience and kindness into managing the full experience of life.